Hello everyone, my name is Crafter from the Helix VR team and welcome to a review of Hop Along the Badlands by From the Future. This game is available on HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. PlayStation VR does have the game, but it's only available right now in the United States. I will be playing on the PlayStation VR, so what I will be talking about might not be the same as the PC VR version. Hop Along the Badlands is a game in which you multitask riding a wooden horse and fighting bandits. Your objective is to get from point A to point B without being killed. You start your adventure at a bridge which leads to a bandit town. From this point, you must shoot your way through bandits to proceed. Although it's a simple idea, it plays out really well and can be quite challenging at points. The visuals had a half-realistic, half-cartoony style. When I first began playing the game, the cliffsides reminded me of Arizona Sunshine. The sound effects and quality were pretty good, from the large booms of TNT to the classic ricochet noises when firing a revolver. The voice acting, however, was pretty mediocre. It really put me off guard hearing a high-pitched voice from a bearded guy. I didn't see or experience any bugs, glitches, or errors whilst on my travels, which is brilliant. I would like to see some comfort options added into the settings though, such as smooth turning and field of view sliders. A lot of people still get motion sick and having those settings could help people with it. There should also be a torch implemented for the cave levels. I had quite a difficult time figuring out where I was even though there were lights already in there. However, one big problem I had with the game is how the horse is controlled. I'm sure that if you watch a video of someone, the control for it is... awkward. On Steam, depending on where you live, the game costs $14.99, £11.39, or €12.81. For the amount of levels there are to play, it's an alright purchase. For PlayStation VR users, however, the game costs $24, which is a pretty unnecessary price rise. I was given the opportunity to test this game out and write a review on my experience with it, and it was definitely worth it as it brought me back to the immersive nature of virtual reality. Having to focus on what's around me whilst trying to take precise shots at enemies was a blast. Literally. I'd say one of my favourite moments with the game was when I unlocked a pickaxe and realised it could be used to destroy gravestones and kill enemies. Personally, I had a lot of fun with this. Other than that, this game is great. I haven't played through a lot of it, but it's definitely a game I'll go to when my friends aren't around. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more content like this and be kept up to date on upcoming virtual reality titles, reviews and giveaways, subscribe. Also. Check out the links in the description. Along with the game we just talked about, you will also find a link to the Helix VR Discord channel where you can band together with a community of other amazing virtual reality enthusiasts. It's also a pretty good place to find players to play with too. Other than that, I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, or evening. See ya!